In this episode, we explore Noosa. Is it overrated? You decide for yourself. Okay, so we've made our way down to Tawantan, and at Tawantan we have the Noosa River, and we have the MV Catalina boat, which we've done a night out with the kids. It was a pretty wild night. Definitely recommend it if you're in, down this way. That's the MV Catalina. They do a night cruise on a Friday night, I think Saturday night and a Sunday afternoon. So I definitely recommend you jumping on that boat if, you, if it's available and you're in the area. There are other day charter boats you can hire and just do day trips. You don't need a license on some of those smaller boats. So it's a great way to get around the Noosa area. A Pelican boat hire, which like I said, you can get the boats Hiram from here, and you've got the big pelican. Can't say I've noticed it before. Have you? No, I haven't actually. And you can also hire bikes. There's bikes as well. You yep. can hire. hire stand up paddle boards, you've got bike hires. So, plenty to do down here at Pelican Boat Hire. Okay, so we've made our way down to the famous Noosa Boathouse. It's one of the uh, better restaurants in the Noosa area. It's been here for, I'm not gonna guess how many years it's been here. I can probably let that in the, uh, in the notes or on the screen later on. So it's right on the water, beautiful spot. And we just had a look at the menu and it's not that badly priced, what I actually would have thought. So it's quite reasonable for Noosa prices. It's probably actually cheaper than, the, uh, than Hastings Street. Here we have some quite unusual tree formations. Very unusual. Look, at the tree looks like it's almost plaited itself. Okay, so we're wandering around Gimpy Terrace. Lots of beautiful little restaurants here to have a little look at. Um, we're heading down to a little Thai restaurant we're going to try and find. Okay, so we've bounced into Thai for friends have been recommended this place so we're gonna pop in check it out and uh, let you know what it's like it won't be hard getting a seat I hope that's not a good indication and again it's only 12 o'clock so quite a cute little spot so I'm gonna grab a seat and we'll let you know in a sec okay so we're here and we're ready to order and we're going to go the Sontem Sep and uh, Chicken Pad Thai. Sound good? Okay, sounds good. Awesome. Okay, thank Thanks you. very much, mate. Thanks. Here we are, so the grub's turned up. We have the uh, Chicken Pad Thai. And we have, what was it called? Sontem. I don't know what it is, so. We'll tell you what it tastes like. It's a, it's a, have a taste. Yeah. Isn't it a duck salad or something? No, it was... It's like a salad. It's, well, it's, it's a papaya salad. salad. Yeah. What does a pad thai look like? Spaghetti. Mm. I hope that's not spaghetti. <laughs> that doesn't look like a normal pad thai. But... It's not so spicy. Not so spicy? Yeah. Okay, well. Good spot. Okay, so here we have driving through Noosa Forest, which connects Hastings Street to the Noosa River mouth. It's pretty much the only parking you can get most of the time. You may get lucky and get some parks and the car parks up in Noosa itself. So the Noosa River mouth is ever changing. This is uh, one of my go-to kite surfing spots during the summer. The wind's in the wrong direction during winter. But even uh, since I was last here, uh, this large sandbar was where I was jumping. It was not here. The far sandbar was here, but that one right in front of us, as you see there, was not part of this beach back then. Wow. Okay, so we're walking out to the end of the 
noose a growing wall, it's not a large wall, it's a pretty short one. As you can see there we have the river mouth, the noosa. Across there you see Double Island Point and Tiwa Beach which is actually an island separate to Noosa area. So we are driving up Hastings Street, Noosa, Australia's favorite holiday destination with its cosmopolitan lifestyle and its stunning coastal ecosystem. There is something for everyone to enjoy on your Noosa holiday. We came up here during the COVID years and yeah, you could park anywhere on the main street, which was quite nice. For us as locals but yeah, it wasn't very nice for local business owners who were only just coming out of it this season we had a lot of rain which also affected business up here it pretty much rained about five days out of seven for a pretty extended amount well here we are at main beach noosa we finally made it around from the river mouth down to main beach it's uh not as busy as it ever is, that's for sure. This is pretty quiet. Even for this time of year, we generally would see more tourists on the beaches than, than this. Good for those who are here. Probably bad for the local businesses. Winter is generally the best time of year to come up here. Water's still swimmable, and your daytime temperatures it's are 22 degrees beautiful. right now. 22, stunning. Right now. Nighttime can get a little bit cool. Around your seven or eight is about an average. So we're heading into the Noosa National Park and uh, very stressful part of this journey is a car spot. Many a day come through here with nothing. Okay, so here we are at Nationals, which is, as I was saying before, the second surfing spot at Noosa National Park. As you can tell by the fantastic swell today, there's nobody surfing, but absolutely stunning for a swim. It's an absolute stunning part of the world. Unfortunately, it's just been over touristed. That's not even a word. I made up a new word. Noosa, it's always, always gorgeous up here. Walking up the path. Great running track along With here. Glimpse of the ocean, reasons. which is today is absolutely dead flat. And as you come through, you see it. Are the rock pools down the bottom down there. And Here we are working our way up to our third lookout of the day at Noosa National Park. It's called the Boiling Pot. But it's not looking so boiling today. It looks more like it's simmering due to lack of surf. Which is quite unusual in this part of the world. Noosa has been one of the premier surfing spots in Queensland and Australia now for many decades and recently they have uh, taken up the triathlon and it is one of the most popular attractions in Australia each year and just getting bigger and bigger each year. While you are walking through the National Park Make sure you look up into the eucalyptus trees for the famous koalas. And also keep a look down at the ground for the ever cute and very hard to spot echidnas. Another very weird Australian animal. Unbelievably we have the echidna in the distance. You can see it there. 
and I got a little close up of it before it burrowed into a little hole. Okay, okay so we've hit our fourth surf spot and also uh, a swimming spot as well and it's called Tea Tree Bay. Obvious that could reasons. be due to all the tree trees over there. Yes. Tea trees. Tea trees. Yeah. A lot more pronounced when they're near lakes. The tea tree actually stains the water. There's a few in the area and the water looks really badly tainted with dark stains, but it's really just a tea tree. We've reached our fifth lookout point, and this one is called Dolphin Point. You won't have to guess too hard to wonder why it's called Dolphin Point, as we'll show you in a minute. And as you can see now, this is why it's called Dolphin Point. And around this time of year, up until about September, you can also see whales going past here in its migration season. Okay, so our sixth stop today on the Noosa Tr National Park Trail is Granite Bay. Famous many years ago for being a beach that you didn't have to wear much clothes on. Let's just say that. Um, but that's pretty normal for most beaches now but Granite Bay was an actual nudist beach it's gone around to A Bay now which is a bit further around just going past as I came around I just missed him bloody hell I got the shakes now Whoa. We are about <laughs> three kilometers in, and look what we have here, an AED machine. So anybody, we did say before that anybody could do this walk. If you're older or oh, not so well, you know, you take it easy, if something does go wrong, you've got an AED to bring you back to life. It's our final stop today on the Noosa National Park Trail and it's known as Hell's Gate and on the right hand side ahead at the moment you can see A Bay which is also known as Alexander Bay which was the nude beach I was talking about just before So I thought I'd do our lunchtime Thai with friends review down here at Nationals at the beach. And the lunch was pretty good, I must admit. Like mine was like a little tasting platter and it had probably five or six uh, Thai foods on it. And Diane's Pad Thai with an unusual thin noodle, but it's, it still tasted good. So overall out of 10, we probably rated about a solid eight. And 
as we left the park and looked up near our car, look what we saw. A little koala. Made our day. <laughs>